So how crazy is this? We're sitting here after all these years. You're, it's, you're, <laughs> we got it, a universal tram going through right now. Shark's about to pop out of the water. You know, the irony is not lost. The journey, and you have been along on this journey with us. Mm -hmm. You were a big supporter of ours. You, you know, you knew what we were trying to do mm -hmm. and tell those stories that hadn't been heard. Yeah. And the fact that you and I are sitting here talking with the shark getting ready to breach the water behind us <laughs> like it's done for the last 30 years mm -hmm. is amazing. Well, okay, so, I mean, we're obviously both huge Jaws nerds. And, but, but what was it that, that really made you say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take, take the, uh, the initiative. I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest all this time and money. Was it, 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 and be honest, was it really just so you could hang out with all these Jaws people? Um, the reason we went on this journey, yeah. the, the four of us, is, is the fact that we love Jaws. And yeah. Jaws paved the way for us to know what we wanted to do. Yeah. And we've all had a, a little bit of success. That's so cool behind yeah, me. That it's, the shark it's is, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Um, but with that, we decided, you know, we had the wherewithal and we said, why don't we do this? Yeah. No one's done this, and let's come at it from our perspective, which is about the impact and legacy of the film. Yeah. You know, you've got Laurent's amazing documentary, which is mm -hmm. on the Blu-ray, yeah. which is great. I mean, the Blu-ray is like the complete set. I'm <laughs> so happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with that, you know, ours is that companion piece like, yes, you know, here's how the film was made, but then let's talk about what happened when it came out and what's happening today because of that film. Yeah. Well, what I love about it is that you go to, and you're obviously such a Jaws nerd, you know, and you make it for Jaws nerds yeah. because you can, you get very obsessive about the details, tracking down Percy Rodriguez. And, you know, for most people, if they're making a doc about a movie, they're not going to track down the guy that did the voiceover for the trailer. You know yeah. what I mean? But his stuff is so great. And, and I particularly love uh, uh, when, you know, finding the poster, the poster artist and, yeah. and, and all these you know, uh, like I said, it's obsessive compulsive in, in all the, the best ways. Yeah. Uh, and as a Jaws fan, uh, somebody who's, you know, read Carl's book, who's, yeah. you know, in the more recent uh, Memories from Martha's Vineyard, like all yeah. this stuff, like I obsess over all that stuff. And yet, um, you know, your, your doc gives insight to stuff that I'd never even seen before. So, I mean, he, was there a moment when you, when you're like, like, holy shit, we found this, this great you know, when you kind of knew, it's like, th this was the whole reason why we, we we did this. We found this great, you know, piece of trivia. We, we talked to this great you person. Know, we found we found amazing anecdotes and stories that we had never heard. And that's when we knew this is pretty cool. Yeah. Because I am a Jaws nerd. Yeah. All of the producers are Jaws nerds. Yeah. And we thought we knew everything. <laughs> and that's really how it started to... to uh, to form was the fact that, wow, I'd never heard that before, mm -hmm. or I'd never seen that picture before, or I'd never seen that scene before. You, you mean there's eight millimeter footage that was shot? Mm -hmm. You know, and what's amazing is back in 1974 when they were filming it, it was in such a small community that they didn't care. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like today. They didn't, they didn't know that it was going to be Jaws. Yeah. So we kept finding this wealth of amazing behind the scenes uh, photos and, and content that had never seen the light of day, yeah. as well as just these stories and these people that no one had ever talked to about their involvement yeah. in Jaws. And then we felt yeah. it was our responsibility as fans. We did this documentary primarily for the fans. Yeah. We wanted our, we wanted fans to be able to watch that documentary and say, oh my gosh. And if every fan has at least four moments where they went, I had no idea, then we succeeded. Yeah. Well, uh, I had those those moments, and I'm about as nerdy about Jaws yeah. as you can get. Um, but can you talk a little bit about uh, uh, working with Roy? Because Roy came in, and and he wasn't passive in it. He ended up, be, you know, narrating narrating the doc, yeah. you know, and, and you got to, to know him before before he passed. Yeah. So the coolest thing about working with Roy Scheider is he was one of the first people we got to interview. He was one of the first big ones. Yeah. Um, and I tell you, driving to his house in Long Island, he invited us to his home, and getting there was an adventure. But when we drove up, I remember being nervous. And I, I'm normally not nervous about things like that. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, it dawned on me, this was a father figure for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw Roy Scheider as Chief Brody when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. So he was that epitome of, okay, that, 
that guy's, you know, that's the night. Mm -hmm. And I said, what if he's not like that? This will be terribly, you know, devastating for me. Mm -hmm. And we knocked on the door and Roy Scheider, Chief Brody, opened the door and he was the warmest, most generous man, uh, gave us tons of his time. And every time we checked in with him, because we promised him that, we said, this is what we want to do and we'd love your guidance. Mm -hmm. Every time we checked in, he gave great feedback and we were looking for someone to narrate the doc and Roy actually, you know, he did this great interview. And so we said, well, we don't want Roy to narrate. It never was really on the table. Yeah. And we were thinking of other people, you know, and, and we had a conference call with Roy and he said, what about me? <laughs> and it dawned on us, who better mm -hmm. to talk to the fans of Jaws than the everyman Chief Brody, who is who we're rooting for. Yeah. Well, that oddly sounds like how he got cast in the movie. It's, it's hilarious. What about me? Yeah, well, and, you know, those little moments, we found our documentary paralleling Jaws, you know, in a small part. We didn't, yeah. we didn't go through the, the <laughs> rigors of, of what they went through. But, you know, when we would interview people like, like Dreyfus or things would happen or, you know, camera equipment would get lost or what have you, it was like, we're getting our own little trial trying to make the story <laughs> about the trial. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's great. So, um, uh, so what's next? What do you got? What are you working on now? Uh, right now, I'm I'm finishing up my next documentary, which is called Monster Kids. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, interviewed Rick Baker yesterday, which was amazing. Nice. And it really is. Again, these are passion projects for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's about the influence and impact of horror on youth and yeah. the positive impact. You know, there's always this kind of negative. Oh, that'll really screw you up. Yeah. It's like, no, it gives kids imagination. It helps kids deal with life. Yeah, with real you know, life having an yeah. imagination keeps the bad things in life away. Yeah, yeah. 